Me and Drew are vibing right now as he stares into your soul because the stupidity that we are about to witness is insane because what's worse than falling in love with a scammer than adopting them as your children? <laughs> Thanks, Mum. What is your main goal for the interviewee? Yeah, so our main goal is to provide closure as much as possible. Now, the thing is, we're not the FBI or the police, so we can't promise anything as for far sure. as meeting this person that's behind this fake profile or image. Right. Those are things that the FBI sometimes can't even do. We will definitely try to give you some answers and, like I said, try to provide some closure. Yes. All right, that sounds good. Sorry, but have you put yourself on a pedestal already? Romance scams are a growing problem. According to the FTC, the amount of money lost in the USA was almost tripled since 2019, from $200 million to $547 million. Damn. It appears that scammers are just getting better at their schemes. Access to free platforms allows them to create an almost infinite amount of fake accounts and right. reach hundreds of thousands of potential what am victims. I watching here? We've seen it all, and we've learned that above everything, Scammers have one rule. The scam must go on. Romance Pass. scammers have plenty of tricks up their sleeves sure. to continue to dupe victims sometimes even after they've been found out. In today's episode, we visit Kentucky to interview a woman named Lisa who will open Hello. up about several scammers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mr. Allen, where are you? It's, it's Lisa. Lisa is here. Who is she? It's Lisa. Their true identities. My name is Lisa. I just turned 61. I have been divorced over five years right. after a 30 year marriage. Right. I have three grown children and they're all doing very well. And I'm very, very proud of them. Good I have been sick a lot since the divorce and in bed. And I am a very much of a people person. And I really enjoy working with youth. I spend way too much time on social media, which I am working on getting off of it. I was contacted by a man named Chris. He right. said he was in the military. He was from North Carolina. Okay. He had a little girl and she was his life. And that his wife had not cheated on him, but left him because of the military, because he kept going on deployment. Okay. He started talking to me, popping up more often and, it took a little bit longer, but pretty soon I, I realized, yeah, I'm already involved in him. Not too long after we met, he told me he got called in for deployment. Right. And he was going to leave his little girl with his mom. And yes. I, I told him, I said, if you go on deployment, I will never meet you. Because everybody that tells me they're going on deployment, I never, ever meet them. But he right. Let's just assume this is a is is a real situation which it happens a lot right you got to go on deployment you got to go on deployment but for you to think that you have some sort of control over this man's life again we we're, we're pretending it's real but if you think you have such control over this man's life that you are telling him no you can't go i will never meet you you might have to get a grip of yourself here, Lisa. Genuinely might have to get a grip of yourself. You are literally not his mother yet. Caught me into believing that it was a short assignment and he would be back pretty quick just to give him a little bit more time, which meant give me a little bit more time to get under your skin. And by the time what? I tell you I'm not really going to get to come back like I thought I could, you'll be emotionally involved with me. And we'll be in a relationship by then. I'm sure I sent him some gift cards so he can have connections. I sent a care package to Chris. A care, pa a care package. Now, I'm not really a big Call of Duty player, but ain't care packages what gets dropped when you're in the middle of the game? Like, what kind of care package are you... S here's, some, here's some gift cards for Wi-Fi. Anyone want to send me that kind of care package? I am open. Military care package to Chris. Oh, shut up, man. But I guess I just played into it. 
and he told me he went on deployment and then time rolled around and rolled around. It was Christmas. He told me right. that he was going to get to come home. Yes. And it was already way after he told me originally he could get Great. to come home. And I was so excited. I was so happy. He, Can't wait to meet you. <laughs> of course, did not come home. The scam Chris put Lisa through was a typical military romance scam. This is one of the no most way. common scams women go through. The scammer tells Wait, the victim that they're- Hold on a second there. Actually, no, we won't because that was a different picture. I thought Chris has transformed his face and started calling Lisa Angie. My bad. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Deployed and they have to go on some top secret mission. This usually leads to problems they need money for, like connection or phone issues, right, yeah. money for food, wow. money for leave. I'm sorry, but whoever got scammed with this image, maybe you deserved it, all right? Maybe you deserved it because the L's are so like, you know, what's that word? Perpendicular, as I call someone stupid and... I don't even know if perpendicular is the right word, but you get my point. The will. Look at the, the, the look at the the W, the M. I don't even think that's an M. That that's a U that's been like stretched upwards. It's a disgrace that you've been scammed by this. Because I'm sorry, but what if his sergeant or his captain, whatever you call them, just finds him doing this and asks, hey, Idiot, what are you doing? We are under attack. There are threats around us and you're sitting there, standing there, taking a picture with a blank piece of paper. I'm joking, there's writing on it, so it's not blank. But whoever got scammed by this, they're blank up here. Goodness I lost my ass. gun and I need money to replace it. It literally never ends. And no. <laughs> what military... Are, are these people a part of? It, I can tell you it's definitely not the Turkish Taliban because if we lose guns in battle, we replace them ourselves. We don't look to the public. Except, I think military is funded by tax money. Unless I'm absolutely, you know, misquoting things. But I genuinely, once again, if you've fallen for this, is there helping you? Is there? This person has sucked you dry. Oh, Lisa goodness. had sent thousands of dollars to this man who claimed his name was Chris. She was ready to break it off for Chris and even threatened to block him. Nice. But something very surprising happened. When Chris first revealed himself to me, it's after I had posted or approached him with several questions that he knew were not his answers were not connected. He right. knew he was getting to a point where he was going to have to admit to me that he wasn't really who he said he was. And he wasn't in the predicament that he was told me he had been in. He found out that somebody was looking for him. What? And that helped him also come clean. But he told me, I need to come clean to you. So this is when this story gets a little confusing. While Lisa was confused. talking to Chris... She was also contacted by a man named Bent. Bent. Bent reached out to Lisa and told her that Chris might be a scammer. What? The two agreed on a $2,000 bet. If Chris was real and he was who he claimed to be, Bent would have to pay Lisa $2,000. If Chris was a scammer and he wasn't the man in the photos, Lisa would have to pay Bent $2,000. Um, so I'm going to stop you right there because I assume also this is a scam and someone who is, you know, Chris's friend is, you know, doing the multiverse of scams now. It's Inception. But if someone, you know, apart from the whole romance scam side of things, right? If someone messages you saying that someone else is scamming you and you don't know who they are, and then they proceed to say, hey, let's bet two grand on this. What are you doing with with your money and your life here? What is what is what happened to don't talk to strangers? You know, I heard that so much growing up, but apparently no one else did. What is going on here? And he was ashamed of who he was. 
he knew what he did was horrible. He told me he was no. very upset about it and that He's he sitting there was sorry that off. he did it and that he didn't think I would ever speak to him again. And I told him, Chris, I believe in second chances and I believe nice. in forgiveness. Nice. I want to know who you really are. Why, and he, he came clean and he showed me pictures and Why he started videotaping. Scribbling all over. He's a Nigerian. He's young. He's in Nigeria. Oh I my like good. So this picture, I'm assuming, because in the UK as well, when we leave school, people, you know, write absolute inflammatory statements on your shirt, by the way. I'm assuming that's what this is. Otherwise, brands have gone too far. But I want to ask the question, why why bother? What why do you want to know who this is? I get curiosity, right? But why? What will you do with this information? Now, going off the title, you're about to adopt this person, I'm assuming. But that's weird in itself. And we'll get to that, I guess. He was my son. I, I felt like he was the son I lost a long time ago. I don't know how to tell you. I don't know how to explain it to you. I loved him like a son. I couldn't save my child. And I know this is so, this makes me look so weak. But I thought, if I can save this young man, what? I know I will feel better about not being able to save my child. After meeting Chris, Lisa was contacted oh. by a bunch of other romance scammers who ended up coming clean. All of these men attempted to steal money from Lisa by using other people's images, but they all ended up revealing their true identities. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that scammer has well and truly taken the romance scam, shined it up real nice and shoved it up Lisa's ass and said, don't worry about that. Let's, let's play ball now. Let's play some real games. He's absolutely flipped the script and said, hey guys, it worked. I am now this woman's son. So why don't we all become her sons? I understand, but, you know, I understand where she's coming from. But obviously, I can't understand how it feels to lose a child. And hopefully, I never have to experience that. If I'm in, in such a position, I hope I die myself first. But I don't understand why you would do this for this person who's tried to scam you, you I don't know if you feel like you're some sort of hero, which, you know, I guess you would feel because you mentioned it would make you feel better because you couldn't save your son. May he rest in peace. I'm not sure what happened with your son, but may he rest in peace. God rest his soul. But why don't you use this you know, adoption mentality that you have and actually work with a charity and not someone who more than likely has chosen to take up scamming as their job because now you've got a bunch of scammers on your hands wanting to be your son, be adopted by you. Don't you think that's weird? Obviously, we'll come to her thoughts and stuff, but don't you think that's weird? That you've taken this person under your wing and now there's like several others also wanting to be under your wing. There's so... <sighs> I believe the reason why these young men come out and show me who they really are is because they trust me on a level that they know that I'm going to forgive them. Most of them I haven't given a penny to. Chris is the one of many I did. That's still... But most of them, I never give them anything. You know, most of them don't even always ask me for anything. They just want somebody to talk to. Right. And, and that's what my career is, to work with youth. And I'm used to working with youth. I know how to talk to them. I get along with young people better than I do people my own age. Well, I don't know what The that last means, one that okay. came clean with me, I had to say, look, here's the picture of who you say you are. And this is the man's name. So who are you, really? And two days later, he popped up and he told me. What? Let's let's back up a second here because she's actually done research and found out who the real pictures are of. 
without even Catfish's help. So, why is she here? What What is going on here? Are we, are we we're obviously, hopefully, going to get to the point where we find out that she's found out that she's still being scammed. But if you can, you know, have the smarts about you to figure out that the pictures that they're using are not them, surely you can figure out that a bunch of people coming clean to you and still hanging around, you know, they're not there just to talk to someone. You'd think that would pop up in here, but... Maybe she's got a fetish for, like, saving people. I'm not sure if that's a real thing, but knowing this world, there's a fetish, unfortunately, for everything. You sick freaks. You watching this right now. Right now, you. Yeah? Just keep it clean. Okay, please. He said, I didn't think he'd ever speak to me again. <sighs> Maybe between five and eight people have come out and shown me their true identity. Okay. After being in a relationship that was false for months. What two, a superhero, Between eh? three years and just a few months. It's like they call me mom. And that's, I love them like my own kids. Right. We interview hundreds of men and women every year about their romance scam stories. When scammers reveal themselves and show their real identity, this is typically another phase of the scam. Yeah. Remember, the scam never ends. Must I would like on. to say this too. All the pictures that Chris ever sent me were on Instagram. Every one of them. This young man that was really in the pictures. Yeah. He's married. He has a family. Right. She's totally done innocent. research. But he has thousands of pictures on Instagram. Any, I mean, that's. Too, I just think that's kind of crazy. Because that's an imitation almost. You know what I'm saying? Almost. I mean, uh, it is. all these pictures out there. Anybody can take them. Because the, he has a picture that covers so many different stories. It's easy to use them. People in right. Lagos, Nigeria do have it rough. Some of the children are taught to scam at very young ages. Yep. Lagos is ranked the second worst place to live in the world. Kidnapping remains a significant risk. And also, the city lacks a significant health care system. Lagos has over 2 million out of school kids and the number only rises. Lisa and her love for kids helped her see that this was all a problem and she forgave all the young men in Nigeria for what they had done. Do you know, this is where lines get blurred, right? And I think it becomes a lot more complicated to... What's the word I'm looking for here? It becomes complicated to solely just call the scammers piece of shit, right? Now, a bit earlier, I said most likely they've chosen to do this because they are older. They're not children, legitimately. They're not 10 years old scamming and if you are being scammed by a 10 year old and it works once again I don't know for you but granted of course the conditions in everyone's life is different so in this instance I can understand the need or the necessity to turn to scamming as a means of generating income because there are, as we've seen for the past few years, it works, right? There are always going to be someone. Poor English, but we'll get there eventually. But there is always going to be just a, even at least one person that you message in the scammer's case that will fall for the scam, right? So I can understand why they do it. However, then it becomes a case of morality you've chosen to do it right and let's say you have been forced to do it and it's all you know i guess you are still doing it perhaps you're not making an attempt to escape the job because of course we'll never truly know we don't have cameras in their homes but yeah so on one hand i can understand why they would feel like, they need to do this. But then on the other hand, you have the aspect of the world in general, in particular authorities and governments, 
need to do a better job of providing people in such conditions with better health care, with better opportunities to find a real job. Because, again, I can understand. It's not entirely their fault that they are seeking this side of their morality to make money because it's it's what they have, right? It's a... It's similar to here in the UK and I'm sure across the world as well, where if there, if there are no opportunities to make legitimate money, unfortunately, people turn to crime to make said money. Now, it's not legitimate, but it's money at the end of the day. And as you know, it is what it is. Money is needed to live. So, again, I can understand it. That's a lot of rambling for me to just say I can understand where they're coming from, given their circumstances. The thing is, the more I get to know about the circumstances of the people in this world that cannot eat every day, it breaks my heart more and more. I can people understand. in America, so many of them, they don't ever think about how these people live. And I would bring them over here to America and make them, get, you know, let them get jobs and provide a place for them. How much money do you have? You know, hard How much money? All four of these kids. One's a university student. One already graduated from the university but can't get a job. One is uh, a young man I've been talking to for at least three years. And he hasn't gotten the opportunity to go to the university. He graduated from high school. And right. the other one is Chris, the one that came out. Now, <laughs> given what I've said before about not having opportunities, etc. Now, now, now I'm on the edge even for that. I'm on the fence again because they have gone to university, some of them. Some of them have graduated. One is still attending. So that's actually more of an opportunity than even some people across the world in general have. Some people across the world don't end up going to university at all. Now, granted, coming out of university, myself included, I found it very difficult to find employment, but that's, that's another story for another day, because in general, the job market is shit here in the UK. I don't know about you, where you are. Drop it in the comments. How is the employment situation in your country? Is it good? Is it flourishing? Is it in the toilet? But obviously now that the UK is actually in recession, like legit, there is in recession. So it's not looking good right now here. But yeah, I can understand again, going into university, you graduate and then struggling to find a job afterwards. But the people around the world who are in the same position, they don't turn to scamming, right? This, this is where the other hand comes in, the morality issue. They don't turn to scamming. They keep plugging away, trying to find a job and doing small bits here and there, you know, delivering newspapers maybe, just doing anything to get some money. So I can understand, again, their situation, but then... It's, it's similar to, of course, turning to crime. It legitimately, not even similar, it is turning to crime. It's very complicated, right? So I can understand, once again, the scammers, the, the necessity to do so. But also, are they trying? Are they, are they making an attempt to break out of this lifestyle? I don't think so. But I think some of these children are literally put in warehouses, slapped on the floor, and made to do this to people. I really do. I, mean, I don't possible. know if I've ever talked to any, but I've seen pictures of stuff like this. And some of these kids tell me things like that are going on there. I don't care if he's Nigerian. I don't care he's, if he's the prince of Egypt. He's a good person. Lisa and all of the young men she met in Nigeria began to talk almost every day. 
She would check on them and even sometimes send them money for food and clothes. Nice. She got every scammer to come clean, but there was one profile she couldn't get off her mind. I met Ben on Facebook, not the dating site on Facebook, just general Facebook. But that's when I met Ben. August the 31st was our first real conversation. He told me that he had been in a scam himself and that he wanted to make sure that I wasn't falling for a scam right. as well. That's how. How does that make sense? How do you know if someone has been scammed or not? Is Ben just messaging random people and saying, hey, by the way, yeah, this person, Chris, who surprisingly, how do I know that you are talking to someone named Chris is scamming you? Didn't that click in your head, Lissa? Did it not? Like, how does Ben know that you're in this situation? <laughs> she was too caught up in trying to play this, you know, almighty savior but i don't know what the word is but maybe you sort of have a god complex now i understand you work with youth in your actual life but sometimes you have to just you know take a step back and say you can't save everyone and clearly you're not saving anyone here he started getting involved because he had that we had that in common he could possibly what? be the age that he claimed to be which was 47 he has two daughters. They're 10 and 14, approximately. He's nice looking. He's not the best looking guy I've ever gone out with, but I wasn't trying to. He's nice looking. I, that sounded bad. He's yeah, he sounded bad. I don't think there was any reason to say he's not the best looking you've ever gone out with. Who asked what was the purpose? Is he coming on to you? I don't know if, if we've clarified this or not. Are they striking up a romance? Or is he just there to protect the protector? Nice looking. The man in the picture is nice looking. But that's not what I was after. I was just, he, I looked over his site. He had a lot of people talking to him on his postings. And I thought every one of them were uh, centered around the same topic. And I liked it. They were positive. They were basically what I believed too. Right. And that we had that in common as well. Well, he always had several people respond back to him, whatever he said. And it was mostly women. Might have been all women. I didn't pay that much attention. Well, so they're all being scammed. Then. He always had a reason. And that's the main reason that I'm still really confused because I just don't know any excuse is good enough after since all these months that he just cannot possibly figure out a way to FaceTime me if he really wanted to. He never like said, you so need you to are send me two thousand dollars. I'm in trouble. Nothing like that. Trying to romance. Nothing. It was so different from anything I've ever experienced. He has been so nice and so sweet to me and so patient. The first time he asked me for money was after he won the bet that Chris was not going to come home. Wow, that's nice. And I'm going to pause it right there, Lisa, before you start waffling in my ears again. What happened to the Lisa of old, right? And I say old as in like 10 minutes ago, where... She said to the other scammer, the Chris guy, yeah, oh, if you go on deployment, then I will never see you. You're lying to me, etc. What's happened here then? I'm so con now are you are you controlled by the horniness now? Is Bent more good looking than Chris? In my opinion, no, but question my sexuality if you want. But what happened? What you've you know, you've saved the other scammers. But then this scammer now is, I, it's weird how someone can see the red flags, but then for another person, they can't see the red flags. Like, what's happened? He didn't come home when he said he was, and so I owed Bent $2,000. So $8,000 plus the bet money, $2,000, that's $10,000. Then and also, you have way too much money that some random person has just bet you two grand. And you've taken them up on this bet. And you are legitimately, without even seeing them in the flesh, without even seeing them on a screen, which, again, you would think, before I send this person money, like the other scammers who've lied to me, let me take a step back and figure out if this person is lying to me. But you have way too much money that you can just willy-nilly do this. <laughs> These people, it's unfair that they have 
these this type of money. It's unfair. Eight thousand. I invested in his company. What? And that's equal to thirty thousand. Sorry, Five Elon. Five days ago, I, was, I wrote him a message that said, I'm missing you or something like that. As I said, I couldn't get a hold of y'all on the phone. I was like, well, maybe he really is who he says he is. And I just blocked him. And that's the worst thing I'd ever done. Because if he was real, oh, my gosh, I'd be so freaking happy. We both hurt each other. And we just need to either decide what we're going to do. We need to be honest with each other, totally be honest with everything. Shut up. just forget each other. Shut up. He has an accent. Uh-huh. I mean, I would recognize his voice. If right. I heard it, I think for the rest of my life, because uh, it's just part of him. Chris told me that he was a, an African man. All right. Well, now uh, I, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at on screen right now. But now Chris is telling you that Bent is a scammer, even though Bent said that Chris is a scammer. Why is his name still Chris, by the way? It's it's into it's. It is Inception. That's what this is, right? But thank you for clarifying that Bent's voice is a part of who he is because I was under the assumption that someone's voice is not a part of them. So thank you, Lisa. You really are a smart cookie. So. So what? I I don't know. I don't know who he is. That's why I really want to know who that man is in the picture. Like. A week ago. So how could you do research before, but now you can't? I'm just ready. I've never been so confused. I mean, I am confused. Looks like it's a big scam, but there's just enough to keep me hanging on, drive me nuts until we get to the bottom of it. I'm not going to send him any more money. Oh, that's, yeah, that's It's not about money right now with me. It's not. (laughs) To be real honest. If I'm going to be real honest... Once again, these people have too much money and I don't understand. Look, it's one thing. You have your money. Congratulations. You've probably worked very hard for it, right? But it's it's another thing that's rubbing me the wrong way that there are so many people in this world who who don't even have a penny to spare, right? But, oh, I'm, I'm being scammed, potentially, and this random person has taken up a two grand bet with me. Yeah, I'll take them up on it. Money's not an issue to me. It's just rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know if that makes me seem like some sort of (laughs) hater. Am I salty that she has money? I'm not salty she has money. I'm salty about the fact that these people recklessly and carelessly throw around their money. When, again, I bring back the point of working with a charity. Someone in actual need now again the scammers might actually need the money and that's why they're scamming but someone who is much younger in a much more dire situation who doesn't even have the capability to scam right an orphan child you you get my point someone who actually needs money they would much better be suited to get your money then I don't I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it did. I think we'd have to go to a counselor and get counseling because oh we've been gosh. through too much to start a relationship in person after we have been through so much. He has hurt me so bad what and I have hurt about? him so bad that we would need counseling. But it'd be worth it if we could get back to where we were. As soon as you can tell me the man in the picture is not the man you are talking if you'll just call me as soon as you find out. It would help. I'm sitting on pins and needles right now because I, I want Stand to up, believe then. he is who he is, but my brain, my brain tells me he is a scammer. My heart tells me he really does. We do have something to go for each other. I, and I'm so torn. How many times have I told you guys, take a step back and do not let emotions control your decisions. The heart, the heart wants what the heart wants. But what the heart wants is a slap in the face, (laughs) the arteries or something. You get my point. Do not, do not let your heart make decisions. There will be very bad decisions. Listen to this, this big boy up here, right? It can sometimes, I mean, 
Sometimes it's not the ideal brain, but more often than not, it will make a good decision. Sometimes. Maybe. Tune in to the next episode of Scamfish. What? We'll sit down with Lisa. Where are you from, by the way? Dallas. Okay, I hear the accent a little bit coming out. Right. Where are you from, David? We're, well, we're over in California. Yeah, your attitude in Californian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know there what is. that means. This credit card right here. I'm sorry, but look at, look at Bree's face there, yeah? That little side eye. She's like, ha ha, you're laughing a little too hard at Lisa's joke there. David, you want to sleep on the couch? Is that what you want to do? I just found it funny. A little bit of marriage uh, banter. Ha <laughs> ha. This credit card right here. Chris said, Mom, he calls me Mom now. They all do. He said, Mom, I'm going to have you put that money all right. that I made on Bitcoin on that credit card. That's weird, by the way. And you're going to get your money back that I took from you. Our team will investigate all of the information that Lisa sent over to us. How do you feel about the information that we've been, we've been able to provide to you? We will uncover answers about this mysterious man, Ben. Once this video gets a thousand comments, we will be releasing what? part two. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below, please email us at sharemystory@socialcatfish.com. Right. We'll get to the bottom of it with help from our Social Catfish team. Right. By sharing your story with our YouTube audience, we can educate, spread awareness, and maybe someday we can put an end to these scams. Woo! Yes. What in, in tarnation is going on right now? When I pull out what in tarnation, you know. You know it's, a, it's baffling me to bits. I'll be back. Let me go find part two of this. And we'll be right back. Okay, let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome Part back two. to another episode of Scamfish Apparently. presented by SocialCatfish.com. On today's episode, we revisit a woman named Lisa from Hi. Kentucky. Right. How are you? Lisa has also been in an online relationship with a man named Bent since August of last year. Nice, She's but... also been in contact with a young man from Nigeria. Who... Sorry, but remember I said... I assume the shirt has been drawn on by his schoolmates or something. Now he's not even blurred, by the way. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But Chris wearing a T-shirt, I sent to him. Who sent him? You, Lisa, did you send him this shirt? You sent him a shirt with scribbles all over it. And he's walking around here looking like a Picasso. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Do you see what I mean? There's too much money. Too much money. I don't know if you think this is some sort of Gucci. I don't know. But why would you send someone this shirt? Maybe that's, you know, the wrong thing to be focused on right now. But why wouldn't you just send him a normal shirt? Scammed her out of over $20,000 using this man's pictures. Chris later revealed himself to Lisa and showed his true identity. The very stages of my heart, right? If you're just now joining us, you might want to go watch last week's video. This episode probably won't make a whole lot of sense unless you've seen that episode. I've seen it. Chris Don't worry, not guys. Come home, and he didn't come home when he said he was, and so I owed him two thousand dollars. So eight thousand plus the bet money, two thousand. You can click this YouTube card, and I also put the link to part one in our bio of this video. Today, we will sit down with Lisa and tell her all the things we found out about this mysterious man, Ben. And Chris will also open up to us about AI how generated. he scammed Lisa out of thousands of dollars. Sorry. Let's jump into it. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Right. I don't know how commenting and liking will save someone, but I guess it will push the video in the algorithm. So if you could do that to this video, please, I would greatly appreciate it. But how come these older episodes, somehow they've got the scammer on the phone later on and he's going to reveal his ways? I don't think that should be broadcasted to the world, but there you have it. But I feel like in the, in the more recent episodes, we've kind of strayed away from 
actually focusing on how and and why they got scammed and we're more focusing on you know I'm a Trump supporter and that sort of stuff so I, I kind of like these older episodes it's more toned down especially you know without the epic music in the background blurting in my ears look at the size of them you know you know I'm in pain hearing that music but yeah I like these let's get into it hey Brianne oh how you voice doing crack. good I'm doing great where are you from by the way Dallas okay I hear the accent a little bit coming out where are you from David we're, we're over in California oh, look, back again look look yeah the side your eye. attitude of Californian <laughs> oh yeah there yeah, it is yeah, look 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 okay <laughs> you are sleeping on the couch David <laughs> you keep laughing at her jokes <laughs> This is a firecracker. <laughs> Whoa. First off, I want to let you know, we've spent a lot of time on this for you. Thank you. We've dug into a lot of things. The goal with this is to walk away and really give you some closure with this. Yes. Sorry for pausing it so soon, but the, the amount of time and obviously the resources it might take for the catfish team to figure out that Bent is not real. Why? Again, why couldn't she... Just do what she did with Chris and Dem Man with Bent. I don't, it doesn't make sense. I don't really understand what has happened here, but you know, is it scripted? When we investigated all of the information that Lisa sent over to us, we started with Bent's email address. Right. We weren't able to find any matches. What this means is we were not able to email. find any digital footprints leading back to this email being used by an actual person. Yep. If you sign up for social media sites or even opening a phone bill, the digital prints would show when searching foot. an email. This is a big red flag and it probably means you're talking to a scammer. Ben Maybe. set Lisa up with a PI to help track down Chris. We were unable to find a license for this PI that charged Lisa a fee to start the investigation. What this means either the PI was conducting investigations illegally or he had never existed. Wait, we ran a reverse image search on the PI contract and found that it was downloaded from a website called Law Depot. Why does that website exist? Someone will educate me in the comments. Why is she investigating her adopted son right now? None of this makes sense, bro. She, I thought she wanted to help them. So, you know, she's adopted them and speaking to them just so that they have someone to talk to. But you haven't mentioned if you're trying to, you know, get them to stop scamming. <laughs> so they're probably scamming other people whilst you are their mother, which is not good parenting, Lisa. But why are you investigating your adopted son? None of this makes sense. You are a very confusing woman. I don't... You're playing God on one hand. You're playing the mother. But then on the other hand, you know, you're, you're trying to ruin their life by tracking them down. All the scammers well and truly have got you in the palm of their hands. You're, you're being ran around the whole pitch right now. The guy just basically took that same contract and threw his name on it and sent it over to Lisa. We kept digging to find Read more information. contracts, everyone. We decided to look into some names and addresses that Lisa sent money to on behalf of Ben. There's a gentleman by the name of Darius that you had actually sent money to. This was something that's really like interesting to us because a lot of times we see money mules, they will meet you and they'll meet somebody else. You guys send money to each other and they unknowingly become a money mule. Well, in this situation, this is a young gentleman that has ties back to Nigeria, which is very interesting to us because typically somebody, if they're involved in a romance scam, you know, they are, you know, looking for love or they think they're in a relationship. You know, people 45 to 65 years old are typically fall within the demographic of people that are the main target because they have disposable income. In fact, it's something you should most likely go and contact authorities about because he's probably knowingly laundering money. I want to I want to obviously mention this because I think it's very important that people realize it's not just that age demographic that falls victim to these scams. 
Now, granted, they might, as he said, be the main targets because of the fact that they have so much money lying around from their 401k, some sort of life savings, etc. It is also younger people that fall for these scams. And we've seen it, right? We've seen the Chris Brown scam. We've seen the Kevin Gates scam. So it does happen to the younger individuals as well. So be privy, even if you are watching this and you are of the younger generation, you are also still susceptible to the scams. You just can't let your guard down. That would have been a perfect opportunity for Guardio to sponsor this video. Nice little segue. So please, Guardio, sponsor me, please. Or get Lisa to give me money. I need the money. It ain't funny how she's got so much money and is willing to just splash it around. That is not gonna make me turn this frown upside down. The next thing that we had looked into were all the phone numbers that you had sent over and there were multiple phone numbers. Two of the phone numbers Bent used to communicate with Lisa came back to Nigeria. We ran these phone numbers through a fraud scale. Right. This tool is the same Sorry, tool. But didn't he sound like he was laughing there? <laughs> or I don't know if it's just because this is an older video, perhaps they are using an older microphone. But I'm telling you, sorry, that he laughed there. We ran these phone numbers through a fraud scale. This tool is the same tool. We ran these numbers through a fraud no, we ran these numbers through a scam or something like, I swear to you, he's laughing. And I would too. Companies like Visa and MasterCard use to determine fraud. One of the numbers came back with a 44% fraud score. The other number came back as an 85% chance of fraud. Right. This tells us that there is a very high chance that Bent is fake and not who he claims wow. to be. Wow. And to be honest, it's sounding more and more like this guy's from Nigeria. They're trying to scam you and get rid of their competition. Well, that's a bit. Essentially. That's exactly you know, what he could be anywhere in the world. Chris told me Bent was a scammer. But then you. And he convinced me that Chris was scamming me. And now Chris is telling me that Bent's scamming me. They're trying to get rid of their competition. They hope you take one of their sides. And so they build your trust. And then they take you down this wild ride. Listen, I, c I understand and we've seen it before in like Kit Boga's videos where scammers argue with each other and say, hey, no, they're the scammer, etc. But how did Bent know that you are talking to Chris? Someone explain that to me. This doesn't sound like competitors trying to get rid of one another. This sounds like one or a group of people using different profiles to, you know, Mind F you to the point where you are sending money in multiple directions. So I don't think it's competitors. I think it's the same person. But, you know, did you ask yourself why Bent knew about Chris? Did you tell him about Chris? I don't know. Get more money saying, oh, I haven't eaten or I need money for this or whatever the case be. Because you've, you have a history of giving money. They're trying to get more and more from you. So y'all know who this man is in the picture that I thought was Bent Rooney when we started talking. You well, that actually it. leads us into the image search itself. Yeah. Because actually. you found the so others. So we had searched all of the images that you had sent. Every single one, none of them came back with any results. Does that mean he's deceased? Or what does it mean? Oh. So we do know some things about him. We know that there was well, a maybe picture I take of it back. a truck that truck's from 2013. So that picture could be as old as nine years old. One of the pictures, it was a black and white picture of him that wore a hat that said Hayward. They are a pool supply company. So we did dig into it. The real person, he might be a pool contractor. He might work for a pool company or have some sort of association, but he was wearing that clothing with those logos. And so we were able to look into it to try to figure out who he is. Oh, so you know what, I might take it back then. Perhaps you did look for him, but you couldn't find anything. But if they found these pictures, then maybe you could have as well. But I guess he doesn't have a social media profile that you can, like, stalk Lisa. But that's interesting. How did the scammers find these pictures? Did they just Google random man with hat backwards and...
found David. I swear that's the same hat. Sometimes what happens is these people have their images stolen so often that they make their accounts private. Yeah, all right, so fair. his accounts might have been private for the last four or five years. That's why we can't find anything. Right. Or there's always a chance that they're deceased. They're no longer around. Well, rest in peace so, if that's the case. He's not a mule. Because that's what I was thinking. He's using this man that's in the pictures. He's also using him as a mule. Because I say, Ben. I'm going to pause it there because... I'm very much intrigued at the quality of her recording. Now, we saw someone turn up to her house with a camera. So did they send a camera person to her house in Kentucky when I thought they only go to Californian, you know, in the vicinity of their office? So how come in the older episodes they're doing Mile High Club? I know what Mile High Club means. It was a joke. I just find it interesting. Why why did we go and film her, but not the others? I don't know. Say I'm taking my Maybe girls paid. Uh, to church this morning. I, I said, don't know. okay, I want you to uh, hold their hands and take a pic, you know, have somebody take a picture of the three of you. I want to see one girl on each side holding their hand. And he did, and he sent it to me. But he's not holding I their think hands. What, what needs to happen here, Lisa, is you have to detach yourself from the person in the image. The person in the image has nothing to do with this situation, this scenario at all. You know? You're right. I know. Yeah. Chris was doing the same thing. Chris came out to me. He came clean with me. He told me he got all the pictures off of Instagram. He told me the man's name. I went and I looked at it and sure enough, every picture. But it helped me because I saw lots of video with this guy he made lots of video. Do y'all know where Ben is? Brianne, you want to tell Lisa where the click Why came did we from? now switch to the classic up your nostril so we can see your brain or lack thereof of a brain? Why did we switch to that camera angle all of a sudden? You, you're mentioning that Chris came clean about, you know, scamming you with the pictures, etc. Did he say that he's stopped scamming? Or what? We, we've glossed over that fact because you adopted him, I think, to help him stop scamming. Did he stop scamming? It came from a booha. A booha. I wonder, I think that might be where Chris is from. The, the way these scams work, they're How do you not know where your son is from? Of scams over time. And so what I mean by that is, you know, they have a playbook, a scammer's playbook and they teach each other how this stuff works. And so sometimes they live in houses where they all scam people together. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, they learn online on their own, but most of the time they're taught from somebody else. So some, like a friend taught them how to do it because they were making a bunch of money or there's a, a top boss that, you know, has a bunch of, you know, people under him that are scamming people. And so they're typically more than one person involved. There's True. usually somebody that's better with the conversational point. Because you've given money before, you have a big target on your back. And so they're literally either reselling you as their list. And by the way, they call you their Goodness. client. And you're the rich white lady from the United States. Why Unfortunately, yes. The, he's the same person that he was the very first time I ever talked to him. I only talked to one person. They do this every day, Lisa. You have to understand they're talking to 40 or 50 people at one time. He didn't Facts. have time to scam anybody else unless he never slept. And never ate and They're never probably... went to the bathroom and showered or anything. I don't like her attitude right now. That I don't understand. So you yourself, what are you doing with your day then? Because if you are sitting there messaging this scammer all day, that listen, flick flick of the app and I'm all, and I'm talking to someone else, it's not exactly, you know, rocket science. I don't need twenty-four hours in a day to message more than one person. Which, by the way, this is a little tangent, but if someone says that they're too busy for you, probably take that as a hint that they don't want to speak to you. They Relationship talk advice. To me all the time. The way they, they pay for things in Nigeria, they actually have to pay for internet access. They actually pay for bandwidth over there. And so they run out of bandwidth and they have to re up on their, their internet bandwidth. And so if somebody's not able to eat, 
they're probably going to pay for food over their internet bandwidth. You mean so if somebody's so. keeping the conversation going with you, it's either because they're getting money out of you or they're continuing to scam other people and they have the money to pay for their internet. Okay, that makes sense. A thousand dollars is it? more than enough to Do pay you for understand? the entire month. More than enough. If you make ten thousand dollars a year in Nigeria, you are living the absolute the best lifestyle. I do have a compassion for people in Nigeria. I do, especially the kids that don't eat every day. I know that right. there's things that are happening over there that breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. I have about four of them. They call me mom, and they don't eat every day. I'm kind of upset because you don't know who the person is in the picture, and you don't know who Bent Rooney is, and you don't know exactly the person the money's going to. I don't. I haven't really. I'm disappointed. Not every investigation Whoa. ends up with us revealing the person in the image. We How about, right? I don't like your self-righteousness right there because you sought their help, right? I don't like when people seek help and then once you give the best help that you can provide, they tell you, I'm, not, I'm disappointed, not happy with this. Oh, I could have done this. I could have done this. Why didn't you just do it yourself? How about when strangers approach you with a bet of two grand, you don't take them up on that offer? I don't like the fact that your demeanor has now switched just because you didn't get what you were looking for. We know that the pictures that were sent to you are old, and we do know that the pictures are from somebody in yeah, you didn't uh, the find United this States. out. Most they likely did. he was in California for a period of time. He's probably associated with the pool service and the pictures could be as old as 2013. And yeah, I appreciate y'all giving me some more facts It doesn't seem like it. it. I really do, but you know, for the rest of my life, I will always wonder who it really was I was talking to on that phone. Who cares about the rest of your life? Right here, tell me. Because I, I'm telling you now, once someone says something, <laughs> e.g., I'm not racist, but everything that they said before the but, You've made a butt of yourself, right? You don't appreciate what they've done. You don't look like you... Look at the screen right now. You don't look like you appreciate what they've done. You can't come at them for not finding, you know, billions of pieces of information because they found out things that you didn't even find out yourself. So do one, Lisa. Who it really was that said those things to me, that knew things that made me really think that he what? knew what he was talking about. What? I would like to have some advice because the last time I talked to Ben, you know. I would tell you, I don't want to help you anymore. Sorry. I, what should I, should I just not Here's ever... my advice to you, Lisa. I think you are a good person with a very, very kind heart. I think you take sure. your energy that you're spending talking to these people and you relocate that energy to something local. You know, Facts. Ben and I both have a charity that we um, invest in every year, and it's a big part of our lives. And I think that that would be really good for you to, um, you know, direct your energy toward because yeah. I think you can do more good, and you can also see the good that you're doing through there. Yeah. Versus overseas, yeah. where you don't know if they're being honest with you. After speaking to Lisa, she told us that Chris wanted to tell us his side of the story. This is After crazy, last right? week's video release. Bent has been threatening him. Chris claims to be no longer scamming and wants to be forgiven for scamming Lisa. I don't believe Let's that. Let's hear what he has to okay. say. What's up, Chris? How are you? I am not good. Why is that? I don't even know what to say. Before, obviously, I know what I want to say in this situation, but before, obviously, we progress with this, how did he see this video? How did he contact catfish i guess obviously through the same means as you know the victims but how did he see the video what is going on i still i'm still a bit confused because apparently bent is threatening him so is bent actually someone else don't because, get it. <laughs> to be to be honest i don't know what that guy bent is capable of right of. i understand if it is That's... possible you can see the the people that viewed the the video, people that watched the video, I think he watched it today and he, he, he was calling me nonstop, texting me. Right. So you're saying he saw the video and then reached out to you. How does he have your number? 
he started out to be a good person. Then I was using, you know, I was using a fake profile. I was living a bad life then. And I thought it was a real, real person. Like I'm talking to a real guy. Not even, I don't, I didn't know. So the scammer got scammed. The irony there. I think I was talking to a Nigerian and he called me and told me he is a Nigerian and he's trying to scam out too. And so I should just cooperate with him do business with him. Ah. I trusted him to be like Nigerian to a Nigerian. It's not gonna it's not going to do anything wrong behind me. So I gave him my contact. I I now even sent my pictures to him. I even gave him my address. Why would you do that, scammer? I can't believe we've now literally flipped the script and the scammer is legitimately being scammed and threatened by another scammer. Why would you you would you would hope that the scammer knows to not give out sensitive information to someone you've never met face to face. What is going on? All I have on him is just his phone number. That's all. The guy was like, I am not letting him make his money. They're going to block his Facebook. Right. I have told him to come clean. And that's the best way for him to just to just live a it's better very life. Or- it's not going to come yeah. in, so I have to Choppy do right what now. I did, and it is going to bounce back on you. What's his real name? It never told me that, so I don't know what it's capable of. He could reach me with his power. I don't know what it's capable of. That's what, just what can catfish you do know, about when this? you reach out to her originally, you were trying to scam her. I don't get pe- random people from Nigeria or anywhere else in the world that just randomly text me. I'm a pretty public person, right? Do you understand like what it looks like on our end where you know, you have young guys from Nigeria just randomly texting a, a white woman in the United States. Um, uh, what is going on? Yeah. I intimately understand like where you're coming from. I've talked to lots of people in your same situation. I truly have empathy toward like what you deal with on a day-to-day basis. I really truly want you to know that. The world you guys live in is different. Like it's just, it's a different type, part of the world. One of question course. I have though, so Lisa has given you quite a bit of money, right? Um, it should be over 20000 I guess. Oh, yeah, a little She over. still gives you money, though. Last week, last week, yeah. Last week, she gave me $50. Like, average person in Nigeria makes about $845 US, right? Yes. And so, I mean, if you got $20,000, we're talking... That's like two years. Almost three years worth of income right. that you got from her. Why are you still accepting money from her? I spend that money in, in the wrong way, yeah. So I know I, did. Choice, I bought though. a car and so the rest of it spent with friends. See, once again, we bring back the morality, right? Sorry if I sound like I'm beating the dead horse, but allow me because I look like a rat and rats go for dead things and <laughs> so funny not. But the morality comes back here because, you know, if he spent the money genuinely on food and you know, maybe upgrading his house, taking care of children or something. You know, I could understand, right? At least he he put, as, as harsh as it may seem, but at least he put the money to good use. But now, you know, you got that money and you bought a car, which I guess a car could be useful, but depending on the car, right? And then you spent the rest with your friends I mean, now I don't care, right? Now I don't, I had a bit of sympathy before because I empathize with your situation and your circumstances, your living circumstances, of course. But then you didn't use the money wisely. So why should I care then? Do you know what I mean? No, as a young boy. I mean, yeah, I get you're a young person, but. Everything. You blew every penny. Three years worth of income you blew? Yeah. I blew everything. Lisa had sent a picture of you wearing a shirt. And like, yeah. I mean, basically the shirt, it said master. It said like, God, you know, gave you this. Did it? What was that about? Walk me through that. I didn't was that your friends that. like touting her? Yeah, that is what every oh, yeah. student that does right. when you graduate from yeah, a university. Yeah. It's a common thing in Nigeria. Every grad, graduant, we put on a white shirt. Yeah, same and in we the buy UK. a marker and we start signing. It's called sign out. Yeah. We sign out. Help me understand. Why are you wanting to do this video? Because I feel guilty for what I, I did, and I enough. truly want to show repentance. And I did not know 
even if I could work, if I can work and pay back every penny I ever collected from that woman. When you had gotten money from her, she had sent money to other people. Can you walk me through, like, when you met her, how you found her profile, what the conversation was like on your end? The way I met her is kind of strange. I bought a phone, a used phone. Right. You know, someone used the phone, tries to sell it, so I bought it. Stranger. So I bought it at a cheaper yeah. price. When I was trying to upgrade the phone, I started, I started so looking up numbers. Before. I did not know how I ended up seeing the numbers. Maybe they did not delete them. I don't know. I started texting some of the numbers. Okay, let me text. Let me text. This seems to be an American number. I started texting and she was... So she's been scammed I'm fortunate before. then to be one of those that replied me. And I just took the opportunity. I mean... The guy I used this picture, the guy I did not really know his name. On Instagram, his picture is so easy to use. He has almost every picture explainable, explainable for everything she asked me. Yeah. So she's going to say, send me this. I'll send her. Send me a picture of you with a toothbrush in your mouth. It, it did not actually have a toothbrush. It was lying down. So I had a guy that did a toothbrush in his mouth. There's a guy that does that. That's what it's all it does. Photoshop. Photoshop. Yes. And the guy photoshopped the, the toothbrush in her mouth. And she, she believed it. That was when the trust... That's insane to think that someone's job, you know, you've got the scammer as the job, like perhaps he's the manager, right? And then you've got the assistant manager who just photoshops all day. I think that's crazy to think about. Like we think about scams as just someone sitting there and they're scamming, but it's actually crazy how deep when you look into it. And, you know, that's not something you want to hear from a doctor performing a colonoscopy on you. I could tell you that much. Please, doctor, just have a look. Don't tell me that it's crazy deep and etc. But it's crazy when you look deeper into scammers and like the process. It's actually like it trickles down. There's so many people involved. It's ridiculous. I didn't know someone just sits there photoshopping all day. For me, Oh, I won't get in trouble. That's why are you gonna get in trouble? A rhetorical question. Me. What? Are you still scamming? He probably is. No. How are you making money I now? Mean, that no sounded fake, but okay. don't make nothing. I don't believe. You're it. not working or anything. How are you paying I for the electric? Quit my job in the bakery when why would you was do threatening that? me. I had to. So sorry, right now. But you quit your job in the bakery because Ben was threatening you, which means you had a job in the first place. So you was making legitimate money, but then to obviously get more money, your morality said, F it, let's scam. No, 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 no. See, before I said about the whole morality, that is the large part because I can understand if you're scamming because you have absolutely no other means to make money, but you had a job. So you liar. And I had to, to, to run back to the school to stay in the school hostel. And the school is on strike right now. I am literally staying with few of friends in the school. So we're just struggling. Before he graduated. We want to hear from you guys. Did Chris sound sincere about no. everything he's done in the past? Drop a comment below. I'm saying he had I've a been job. asked to start teaching um, elementary students in Bible study. So I'll start that. Right. That's one of the Nigerian kids right now. That's Chris. So block um, the number? Anyway, I'm going to start teaching. And then hopefully there's some things I need to take care of for as far as my health that I put on hold for a long time. And so As I always say, never put aside your own health, your own mental well-being, your own life in general to keep someone else feeling good, feeling happy making sure they're taken care of. I can understand it. However, the mother complex in her, I can understand it, right? However, remember, if there is no you, you can't help the other person. Put yourself first, as selfish as it might be, you do come first. I won't be giving the rest of my two cents to kids. You'd hope I'll not. Take that two cents and try to get these surgeries taken care of so I can go back to teaching art and making a living. Yes, you've got surgeries that need money yet. and you're splashing My it. husband gave me enough money to live off the rest of my life, but I used it unwisely. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. 
how do you feel about the information that we've been a- we've been able to provide you? Yeah, that's crazy. I kind of knew all that. So why why are you here then? Okay. I've been I've gone. Yeah, I kind of knew all that. Why are you here to to get on YouTube or something to get your face out in public? I don't understand what you came here for then. Because if you knew all of this before, what are you doing? I understand what she was trying to do, be helpful, right? But I feel like she's she's got such strong narcissistic tendencies. But maybe that's just me. I knew those numbers were used by others. And so then I really am trying to think of How anything. did you get scammed I mean, if you did? Yeah, I do know for sure that Vince's not real. but And I didn't know that. But I still don't know who that was. I've been talking to her on the phone. It doesn't matter who he is. Never been They're fake. In a relationship like that, you don't know how it's like. Um, just to completely have that voice in your head all the time. You know what I'm saying? No. I, I'll always hear his voice. That's weird. What voice? And I didn't get a closure. Not the kind I thought I would get. I mean, isn't the the closure? that he's not real enough for you? Why must you know who he is? Do you want to also, you know, adopt the person that who was playing Bent? This woman, I don't, I don't understand her, but... Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCaptive.com. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do that here as well. See you next time. <laughs> you will see me next time as always. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of these scams below, Okay, she's basically saying the same thing. If you've been a victim of any of these scams, reach out to them so that they can create content, which in turn I can then create. <laughs> Contentception. But what did we take from that? I don't believe that Chris was telling the truth. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. He meant he slipped up and he mentioned that he had a job in the first place. So granted, it might not have been a lot of money, but then, you know, you, your lack or is that the right word? Your lack of morality? Is that correct? You chose to scam then, right? Let's, there's no two ways about it. You chose to scam. This woman, Lisa, or Lisa, sorry for mispronouncing her name, but Lisa, absolutely, you know, I can understand. No doubt you wanted to help someone, but... The amount of money that you spent, especially some random person wants to bet with you and you just take it up. And once again, using the money that your husband has left you, again, there's just a lack of dis... It, no, there is a lack of respect on, on, the, on your ex-partner, right? It's just a spit in the face. I will never understand these people who have access to such money. And over the internet, just throwing it about. Just, why if you want to play mother so much, why don't you actually locally go and help a charity? Go back into teaching, as you said. I, it will, I will never understand. And also, I will not understand why you approached Catfish if you weren't even going to be happy with the little amount that they can give you. Why didn't you find out yourself? But anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. My overthinking is beating me up once again because I'm in two minds of if you guys enjoy the edits. Uh, I'm not too sure. You know when I do the like, I zoom into myself when I'm talking and add the little clips, etc. Do you guys enjoy it because I see other others around me who they don't do such things and they are in a much better position than me. But maybe you guys do enjoy it uh, and I should actually stay true to myself because I've been doing that since the beginning, adding the memes, etc. And yeah, for the most part, people enjoy it. There are a lot of comments that do not enjoy it, but it's what makes me me. So I guess I've answered my own question and I shouldn't take them out. And I should continue to edit the videos because it's who I am, I guess. 
But let me know your thoughts. Let me let me know as well if I'm overthinking things because I have a tendency to do that and it puts me in a rut. It makes me not want to film and I don't want to not film because I'm in a I'm in a position that I never even thought I'd be in. But yeah, the anxiety in me. Boom boom boom. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Peace. And if you want more, as always, the playlist is there. Bye. Bye.